who will come off here as we get into the back end of the fifth. I'm still seeing Kenneth Walker. That's somebody, I guess he's probably coming up to the top of the ADP, but not still the top just yet, but definitely someone that I feel like most of us at JWB are a little bit higher on than consensus. Talk to me about Kenneth Walker versus Zach Charbonnet and why you might have Kenneth Walker a little bit higher than most. Yeah, I, I, I really comes down to I think Kenneth Walker is the guy. I think Charbonnet is a backup. I wasn't necessarily it, – it's less about Kenneth Walker and more about Charbonnet as I wasn't necessarily enamored by the tape like other people were as I watched it. I know the production was there. I can't take that away from Charbonnet, but – I've just said you know, back in his Michigan days, I've just never really been a fan of his game. I think people are overstating a lot of things that he does really well. I think he played in a division where um, there just wasn't much defense for him. And I think he's a fine running back. I think he's probably like a top end, like handcuff. But, you know, some people would lay into me for suggesting that Charbonnet is a handcuff. So Kenneth Walker has just proven that he is um, a threat every time he touches the football. Um, and I just think to myself, like, I can be getting Kenneth Walker around you know rb 17 16 pretty comfortably he's my rb 13 i'm ahead of consensus and i just look at what he did last year i mean people were putting him in the top six to top eight dynasty um running backs before charbonnet came to town so i've you know adjusted for a little bit of charbonnet but i still want to be ahead of market and kenneth walker is just one of those guys where i just you know i think without you know giving everyone go back and listen to the clips folks um i'm just mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a kenneth walker over charbonnet pretty clear uh for me